Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So the JP data download just came through about an hour ago. Global should be getting the exact same one very soon. And from this data download, we got the details for three upcoming Extreme Z Awakenings for part two of the 300 million download celebration, namely the STR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan Youth, the free to play tech Goku and Gohan, and the free to play STR Vegeta and Trunks. Now, even though we've known for a while that these EZAs were on the way and they were coming, this is still pretty damn exciting to me. And uh, with all that said, guys, why don't we start with the unit that I feel like most people are gonna be the most hyped for, and that would be the STR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. And what I'm gonna do right now is show you guys the old status first, the pre-Extreme Z Awaken state, and then we'll talk about the new details for the EZA. So pre-Extreme Z Awakening, his leader skill is all types, HP and attack, plus 30%. That's it. It was basically nothing. He might as well have not had a leader skill. Like, that is atrocious. And then his super attack causes immense damage to enemy, which is which is good. Immense damage is always good. And his passive was key plus 3, and attack plus 70% at the start of the turn, which was pretty damn good at the time when he was first released. But, of course, that has become very outdated. And uh, his links are going to stay the same, categories stay the same. So that is the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan before the Extreme Z Awakening, and then after is easy a his leader skill becomes kamehameha category key plus three hp attack and defense plus 100 percent so for people like me who never pulled the new lr gohan we can finally run the kamehameha category albeit with a much worse leader skill than the lr gohan but at this point i'll take what i can get man so that's awesome but he also gives all types key plus three HP, attack, and defense plus 77%, which I believe is the exact same rainbow leader skill as the EZA STR Gogeta. So that's also pretty insane. And this is especially awesome for newer players who don't have a lot of great leaders. This guy will allow you to pretty much build any team you want. So uh, yeah, already a huge, huge upgrade in the leader skill department from what it used to be, which was all types. HP and attack plus 30%. And next up is his super attack, which now greatly raises attack for one turn and causes immense damage. So before it was just immense damage. Now he also gets that great increase to attack, which I believe is a 50% boost to his attack. Not 100% sure, but I believe it's somewhere around there. And then his passive is key plus three, attack and defense plus 77%, where before it was only attack plus 70%. And in addition, attack plus 59% if there is a Super Saiyan Goku ally attacking in the same turn. So very similar to the transformed um, LR Gohan actually, where you need that Super Saiyan Goku attacking in the same turn to get the full passive, which is a little bit annoying, but that is a pretty huge boost. And I'm very excited to see what kind of damage you can push out with the Goku on the same turn. And uh, of course, once the uh, unit becomes available i will definitely be doing a showcase for you guys on the channel so definitely stay tuned for that so uh, that's a new passive and his links stay the same categories stay the same and his stats i believe have not been updated yet yeah so these are his old stats i know for a fact that he's gonna have more than 14,000 attack more than 13,000 hp and 8,600 defense and of course the updated attack and defense means that He'll be doing a lot more damage and tanking a lot better in addition to the fact that he just has a better passive and uh better super attack and all that stuff so yeah huge upgrade right there there you go that is the eza for the str super saiyan 2 gohan once again showcase coming soon can't wait to see what he can do but either way man it's uh it's great to see these you know old cars that have become very outdated actually become relevant again i don't think He's going to be replacing, you know, the Int LR Gohan anytime soon. I've, I've seen that being thrown around that some people are saying this guy could replace the Int LR Gohan. I don't think that's going to be the case, but I guess it remains to be seen. Depends on what his stats look like. Depends on um, how much damage he can push out, I guess. But for now, he seems really good, but I don't think he's going to be better than Int LR Gohan, which, like I said, I have heard people say... And um, I mean, it's not the craziest thing, but I just don't feel like that's the case. Anyways, next up is the Tech Goku and Gohan. And for this unit, as well as 
the Vegeta and Trunks. I'll just be talking about their new updated Extreme Z Awakened uh, details since they just came out, and I'm sure a lot of you guys still remember what they do before the EZA. So uh, starting with the Goku and Gohan here, well, more specifically the Goku since he starts out as a Goku. Um, his leader skill is Goku's Family Category Key Plus 3, HP, Attack and Defense plus 77%, or Tech Types Key Plus 3, HP, Attack and Defense plus 50%. The Super Attack raises defense and causes supreme damage and lowers attack as well. And his passive is now Attack and Defense plus 50% at the start of the turn, and Goku's Family Category Allies Key Plus 2, and Attack and Defense plus 30%, which is an awesome awesome support uh, passive right there. I absolutely love that. Definitely going to be running him on my uh, Goku's family team as soon as I awaken him. And of course, everything else is the same. The exchange skill changes him into Gohan once activated after the third turn of the battle. And moving on to the Gohan now. So after you use the exchange, you become Gohan. And of course, leader skill is the same, but his super attack is Wild Rush Blaster Extreme. Raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage to the enemy and lowers attack and defense. And for his passive, now I believe there's actually something missing from this section here. So what I'll do is start by reading what's here and then I'll tell you guys about the part that's missing. Alright, so he starts by getting key plus 3 and attack and defense plus 90% at the start of the turn. Plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% when there is an android slash cell saga category enemy. And that's great and all. But the part that's missing is actually from his pre-EZA state, which says he should also get two additional attacks and a high chance to perform a critical hit when there is an android slash cell saga category enemy. And according to Goresh, he does retain that extra part of the passive once he gets the Extreme Z Awakening. So what the passive should actually say over here is key plus 3, attack and defense plus 90% at the start of the turn, plus an additional attack and defense plus 50%, and also performs two additional attacks and gains a high chance to perform a critical hit when there is an android slash cell saga category enemy. And I'm not really sure why that was left out, but I'm sure it's a simple mistake that will be fixed very soon. And with all that in mind, guys, he's awesome. And let's see if there's any updated stats here. I believe, no, we don't have any updated stats. So they're gonna be higher than that, but I don't know exactly what they're gonna be, but great upgrade for this unit as well. And uh, next up, yo, I'm losing my voice a little bit. I don't know if you guys noticed, but my voice has been weird all day. Anyways, we're gonna press on. Uh, we're gonna move on to the STR Vegeta first. And the new leader skill for the Vegeta is very similar to the Goku. So for Vegeta's family, it's category key plus 3, uh, HP attack and defense plus 77%, or STR types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%, super attack raises attack and defense and causes supreme damage, and passive is key plus 2, attack and defense plus 90% at the start of the turn and weakens regeneration. And of course, exchange after the third turn if you activate the active skill to become the trunks. And once you become the trunks here, his super attack becomes a buster cannon extreme, raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage to the enemy. And his passive enlarged muscles is probably one of my favorite passive skill names out there and uh, it gives him key plus seven and attack and defense plus 140 percent at the start of the turn and key minus one and attack and defense minus 10 percent for every turn that passes no more than key minus six and attack and defense minus 90 percent weakens regeneration so basically he starts out with a b bigger buff and i believe he didn't have any key on his passive as well before yes okay so he used to start with no key and attack and defense uh, plus 120% and now it becomes key plus 7 and attack and defense plus 140% and of course he does become weaker every single turn but when you first transform or first uh, exchange he is very very strong so uh, that's awesome of course no updated stats for them either uh, let's see yeah, okay, so yeah, no update information about the stats or anything like that, but those are the details, guys, for the um, Extreme Z Awakened STR Go Gohan, uh, Tech Goku and Gohan, and the uh, STR Vegeta and Trunks, and you know what, new EZAs are always good, especially EZAs on very old units or free-to-play units, so I totally dig it, I'm totally down for this, and uh, I believe that's all the details we got from the data download that came out tonight, and uh, I'm sure over the course of tomorrow or the next day, 
I mean, actually the next day is when the new stuff comes out. So I'm sure we'll have all the details by the end of tomorrow. But um, as more information comes out throughout the day, I'll keep you guys posted with more videos, maybe a live stream, something like that. And uh, if you guys want to stay up to date with all that stuff, then make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Smash that subscribe button right now. Join the Tiger Squad. And uh, I promise you will not regret it if you like Dokkan. And as always, if you guys liked today's video, then of course, like the damn video. And I guess that's it. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.